I found this text quite recently, written out on a piece of lined notepaper that had been folded into a wad and jutted from between two bricks, where the mortar had been scraped out of a low wall just round the corner from where I live. Perhaps it's just a prose poem, left there so someone would find it, but to me it has the feel of something shoved through from another place. When I was a child, sometimes, not often, a bard would come into town, gather a throng about them in the market square, and pour stories of sights mythic, like Old Street or Elephant, Summer's Town or Ladbroke Grove, into our gaping ears. These were souls who'd ventured into the sweltering interior, the fetid guts, wormed down the city's gullet and made it out. Made it out, but only just. Riddled with disease, encrusted with cankers, with scabies, abscesses and fungal lesions. With sight failing, eyes shriveled by sunlight glaring off glass and steel. With straggly, blank hair, which would keep falling in stringy locks over their eyes, and which they would keep pushing back. The gesture of a maniac or illuminé. With long, separating sores on their flanks, thighs and calves where strips of flesh had been carved, jerky for some corporate gunslinger. They wandered from place to place, weak eyes roomy and poignant like the eyes of a doe or an anchorite, flying their tails, bursts of brutality and dark eroticism for jaded province folk. I don't know what happened to them, but they don't come around anymore, haven't for years. And for us here, the city itself seems now like nothing more than a wondrous and terrible dream. It might be that's all it ever was.